Some of my kids had their own individual thoughts on why mom and dad wasn't together. Is every child affected by divorce? Yes, they are. Just like every parent who's going through it is affected with all sorts of feelings and uh, thoughts and problems. This is a very troublesome time for kids. I didn't have the knowledge of kids in the middle. I was a single parent with two children. We do something very special. We work with children whose parents are going through separation and divorce, or perhaps it happened many years ago. We provide counseling for the kids. We also work with the parents and we provide counseling, education, and support for them so they can help their kids. I didn't know how to accept being a single parent. Uh, I do know that I needed to protect my children because um, dad was no longer a part of our lives. Kids can be worried and anxious. Um, it also depends upon their age. Um, some real, real little kids, they don't know what they're feeling but you can tell that their behavior might change and they might be acting out and clinging more. Older kids uh, might be angry at their parents or at one of the parents. Uh, my kids did blame me uh, for dad not being there, but I really couldn't elaborate to them on why. We have um, assessments for the whole family so we can see how they're doing consultations for the parents. Perhaps they just need to come in and speak to a therapist to find out the best way to tell their kids that they're going to be changing in the family. My children will wait for their dad on the front porch with their backpacks on and I knew he wasn't coming but I wouldn't tell them at the beginning but it started to be consistently so they will wait from, from 8 o'clock in the morning until like 5 and they used to crush me so bad. So I went on protective mode. You know, I have to protect my children. So I no longer told them that dad was coming. I just said I spoke to dad and he's unable to come, even though he stated he was coming, but he never showed up. We provide uh, group counseling for the kids um, from three and a half years old through 18 or 19, individual counseling for kids who are not ready for group. Uh, in addition, we provide a lot of services for the parents. Individual counseling, co-parenting counseling, which is very specialized. It's for those parents that are going through a lot of conflict, and we try and help them stop the conflict and stop the um, really uh, negative behaviors that hurt their kids. But if Kids in the Middle was a part of their lives then, and their mission now, I think that my kids would have definitely benefited from it. And sometimes when the parents pick up their kids afterwards and it sounds like they were just playing, they do play a lot. So we use a lot of specialized play therapy techniques. So the group environment would have taught him that he was not the only one in the situation. An individual would inform her that um, it's not mommy's fault or her fault. And what we do depends upon the age of the children and what's going on in the groups. What is the issue that they're seeing with the kids who are... Since I have been involved in Kids in the Middle, it has made me a better single parent. Um, it has taught me to understand why my children was feeling the way that they were feeling at the time. And it also informed me and let them know that you're not alone. And they're at this age now, they're all grown up and doing well. I hope that we can grow grow enough, not too fast, not too slow, so that we're available for every child and every family that needs us.